When using Chrome, it's important to note that there is a Chrome profile and also a Google profile, and these may not match. If you have multiple people in your house using one computer, you might need to switch the Chrome profile so that people can click on links and be able to get in based on their permissions. Here, you're either going to have a picture um, that you have assigned a little profile or an initial. If you click on that, you'll see all of the different profiles that you have created, or you might not have any. The easiest thing to switch people is to click on Guest. Once you go to Guest, a student can simply go to the student portal, log in, and click on G Suite for Education to get to everything that they need. Note that with this option, the user would need to click and switch to guest each time they use the computer. If you want to create a separate profile for your student, you can click on the icon, scroll down, and then click Add. Here you'll be asked to add a name, and then you have to click Add. If you already have a Chrome profile, you can click sign in or you can just click get started. There are several things that you can set up as preferences, but I'm just going to skip through these and then click continue. Now I come to the Google sign in screen and I'm going to put in the G Suite account for the student. Note that it's first name dot last name, the last four digits of the student number, at g dot gcps k12 dot org, and then click next. This will redirect you to the GCPS login screen where you'll put student number and password and then click sign in. This will allow you to create a separate Chrome profile for each individual in your household. If you've created separate profiles for different users, you'll always be able to click on that image or initial and then switch users when that person needs to use the computer.